are just one of the examples of the scenes that you can see every time the bar songs comes out. All the tears of joy and the happiness to achieve triumph in every individual who took the exam. But nevertheless, this is just the beginning of their journey. How to prepare to become a lawyer. Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is DJ Kirk and we will be discussing on the tips and how to become a good law student. One of my professors told me, the process of becoming a lawyer is a long and winding road. Perhaps the better analogy would be to call it a roller coaster ride. Because indeed, the process involves wild emotional swings. Tips on how to study effectively. Step 1. Survey the textbook and the chapters. Read the preface and introduction to the text and browse through the table of contents and the index. This will describe the main topics and the basic organizational structure of the book. Read the instruction and the conclusion in each chapter and subsection. Scan the titles and subtitles. Study the pictures, charts, or graphs. Read the summary and any chapter questions. Second, start with a question. Take the section title subtitle or the first sentence of each paragraph and turn into a question. For example, function of the spinal cord becomes what are the function of the spinal cord? Number three, read actively. Read carefully and actively by creating a dialogue with the text. Try to find the answer to the question you created and ask questions as you read. Be careful not to skim the text looking for the answers as you might miss 
other important information. Number four, respond to your questions. Close the textbook and answer the question you created in your own words. If you can't answer the question, reread the section until you can. If, after a few tries, you still can't answer the question, go on to the next few sections and see if things become clear. If that doesn't help you, you may need to change your question. Try to make it broader or narrower. If changing your question doesn't help, get some assistance. Your instructor or TA are a good place to start or contact learning service. Number five, record your notes. Once you understand the materials and can summarize it in your own words, make it a record of it. Common methods are highlighting or making the text or taking notes or some combination of both. Whichever method you choose, it's critical to read and understand the materials first, then go back and record. See below the pros and cons of the note-taking and highlight. See our sources for help with note-taking. And lastly, review your notes. Do a thoroughly review of lecture and text notes weekly and briefly before each class. Make weekly review clear and effective by starting from the beginning of the course in each review session. Though the volume of review materials increases as the semester progresses, the amount of the time needed to review older material decreases after you've reviewed the first week's materials a few times. It will take only minutes to skim over it and recall the key points. That is it for now and let's continue discussing in my next video.